hey guys hey welcome back to the channel as always my name is james and we have a really really good one for you today guys stay tuned it's gonna be good we have something new from sig and the thing is just ha pretty awesome so stand by get things set up i do apologize for my tire i've been out here working mowing the yard taking care of business because someone's got to i can't afford to pay anybody else to do it so i love you guys ain't that all right, guys, this right here is the M18, the Six Hour M18X. It's got a Sig Romeo M17 on top. It's got an extended magwell. Oh, man, besides the color, the trigger has got a flat face trigger. The trigger is a little heavy for my liking, but this gun in itself is very, very, very beautiful. We have the red dot sided in. It comes with three 21 round mags, which I think is absolutely crazy. They would hold 21 rounds, but regardless, 21 round mags. This thing just looks like a beast. Let's see how she shoots. Take forever to go through a dang mag. Woo! That took a minute. Let me catch my breath. All right, guys. So, kind of winding the day down, man. I spent the first six hours of the day mowing and weed eating. It does look good out here, but I am hot. This gun's getting hot, so we're kind of calling it quits for today. But here are my first impressions of the new SIG M18X and a SIG Romeo M17 on top. First and foremost, I think the, the craziest thing in the world is it's got 21 round mags. I think these extended mags are really neat, really cool. Oh man, I don't, man, and the, the, the 21 rounds, that's crazy. Cause I know lately I've been shooting a lot of compact guns, 10, 12 rounds, you go pretty easy, reload pretty quick. And then you get, you're back to reloading the mag with 21 rounds. Jesus, man, that's a lot, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of overwhelming, but regardless, the SIG itself, I mean, it's pretty much a, to me, a standard SIG. I do wish uh, the fact that I do wish they had a lighter trigger in here. I do like the flat face trigger, but I do wish they had a, maybe more of a, a three, three and a half pounder. This one here is just a little tight. I have to get back to you on exactly what pounders it is, but when I was sighting it in, it is just pretty stiff, it seems like. The extended bag here, I think it's pretty nice. It always makes it good for reloading. Uh, I do like the shorter uh, slide on this thing, as opposed to the X5 Legion and the, and the X10. Uh, I do just like the way it looks, especially with the extended mag. It just looks really cool. Oh my gosh. What else can we talk about? The only thing I really have to say anything bad about is this slide release button here. The slide lock, slide release button. Oh my gosh. It just sticks out so far that when I shoot, I have a tendency to want to ride my thumb on it. Like you do with a 1911, right? You want to sit here and you want to put your, what we call the gas pedal or the brake pedal. You want to put your thumb on it and you want to push down to kind of help mitigate recoil uh, it's there so my thumb wants to gravitate to it especially if you shoot 2011s or 1911s you just want to put your thumb on there and i don't like it because it just sticks out so dang far and when you do that it won't go to slide lock when you're at an empty mag it's going to slide all the way forward it's just the way it is uh man so i do wish i do hope sig kind of comes i do i do hope sig fixes that at some point in time all in all, I do think it's a good gun, but 21 rounds in a mag and one in a chamber, I think that is pretty dang crazy. 
Uh, first impressions, I'm impressed. I do like it. I don't have any real complaints other than that slide release. We did have a little bit of an issue getting some consistent groups when we were sliding in. By consistent groups, what I mean by that is, is we would have a group of three, maybe then a group of two and a flyer. And then we probably about half the groups we would have a flyer. Don't know exactly why that is just yet. But right now what we're going to do is I'm going to get this gun cleaned up. Man, I think it would look really sweet with the flashlight on front. Yeah, I don't know. First impression is good. I do like the gun. Good job, Sig. As always, guys, I love you guys. Go check it out. It's brand new from Sig. I'm impressed. I love y'all.